Good morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, October 3rd, and we're talking about godly ambition today out of Proverbs chapter 21, verse 21. It says, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Kayleen's going to open us in prayer this morning. Dear Lord, I just <clears throat> thank you for this beautiful day. I thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Help us, Lord, today just to take time to see the things and to acknowledge the things that you have blessed us with. Thank you, Lord, for uh, just your word this morning that we can stand on it and it can help us to be strong and stand against the schemes of the devil. We give you today and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It says, our culture encourages us to act on ambition, and this is not necessarily a bad thing. We just need to know the difference between godly ambition and selfish or worldly ambition. One grows God's kingdom, and one feeds our flesh. Check your ambitions against this list and make those adjustments that keep you pursuing God's good ways. So godly ambition is the first one that I'm going to give, and then selfish ambition is the second one I'm going to give, kind of different. As you can see here, there's a list I'm gonna show you. There's the list, so that's what it looks like. And it says godly ambition is initiated by God. Selfish is driven by itself. Then the next one is about advancing the kingdom. The selfish is about building a personal empire. The godly is honors others. Selfish is competes with others. Godly is loyal. Selfish is opp opportunistic, opportunistic, and godly is is others focused. Selfish is fo self focused. Godly is content with anonymity. Selfish is wants the spotlight. Godly is prefers others. Selfish is uses others. Godly is longs to please God. Selfish is pleases man. Godly is prioritizes obedience to Christ. Selfish is will compromise to advance. Godly is loves people. Selfish is leverages people. Godly is thinks of the next generation. Selfish is indulges this generation alone. One kind of ambition destroys and other brings life and love beyond your own lifetime. As you pursue your ambitions, constantly evaluate and bring them before God to be tuned to him. It will lead to something greater than anything you can imagine on your own. Lord, I set myself or I set my heart to please you and pursue your godly ambition for my life. Thank you for showing me your perfect path. You know, we should have read it like, you know how you always see in cartoons, the angel on one shoulder, the devil on the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, uh, you know, you could... Let's read through it again, and you read the godly ambition. You can be the angel, <laughs> and I'll be the little devil. She is so kind. <laughs> uh, the godly uh, is initiated by God. Is driven by self. Is advancing the kingdom. Is about building a personal empire. Honors others. Competes with others. Is loyal is opportunistic is others focused is self focused is content with anonymity wants the spotlight prefers others uses others longs to please god pleases man prioritizes obedience to christ will compromise to advance loves people leverages people thinks of the next generation Indulges in this generation. Indulges this generation. Oh, indulges this generation alone. All right. That's good stuff. So, yeah. Just have to, uh, you know, listen to the angel <laughs> over here. <laughs> Not the devil. Because he always t takes everything and wants to twist it and turn it. But to see it through God's eyes and to do what God wants. Amen. I'm going to take this phone. My arm's tired. Yep. We're, <laughs> we forgot our tripod, and we're somewhere else, so we're bearing, making do here this morning. But uh, anyway, just talking about godly ambition, you know, the way, best way to do that, too, is, and we continue to preach this, but it's always true, and that's just being in the Word because 
God's word is like a mirror, James says. So when we look into the mirror of God's word, he helps us to see ourselves the way we truly are. So as we're studying and praying and reading God's word, he helps us see those things. So, you know, spend time in God's word and do what needs to be done there. And God will make it very clear that, you know, in our word, as we're studying and stuff, that he'll keep our ambition on the right track. So, mm -hmm. and our heart on the right track, because that's really the, what, what really matters is our heart, you know, loving others. Like it, I think it said here, it does uh, godly ambition loves people and the other leverages people, you know, we want to love people and we want to, we want to reach people and we want to, uh, speak into people's lives, life, and, and not lead them down a path that they feel used. So, so anyway, let's pray and we're going to close. It's good to be with you guys this morning. Thanks for jumping on and spending time with us. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, God, for your word. And we pray today too, that Lord, that you would just look into our heart that you would look deep inside of us and see if there you know david's prayed it this way he said pray and see if there's any wicked way in me and selfish ambition is a wicked way it is exactly that it's selfish and lord i pray that you would look into our hearts and that you would see what is in there and lord if there is good things, then praise God. If there's things that need to be taken care of, I pray that you would convict us, that you would show us, that you would help us to understand, and then you would show us how to how to take care of that too, that you would change our hearts and transform us, even as Romans 12, 1 and 2 talks about, that you would just transform us by the renewing of our mind, and we know that comes through the Word of God too, and by the power of your Holy Spirit. So we thank you for that, and just bless your people today on this great Saturday. So we're into the weekend. I pray that you would just give them a great day to be with family. Hopefully, you know, there's not a lot of people after work. If they do, then, Lord, that you would uh, just bless them at work. And when they get to be at home with their families, I pray that you bless that time, multiply it so that it's uh, a good thing for them that just brings life to them. And uh, just help us as we go into this Sunday, too, the uh, time to worship you and to be in the house of the Lord and to fellowship, to lift your name up, Lord. Just bless your people now. May your face shine upon them. May your countenance be lifted up to them. Guide them, each one, in your righteous paths of truth, Lord. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good to be with you guys. God bless you. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. We will talk to you on Monday. Join us if you can't make it to church. Join us online tomorrow on Facebook. God bless you. Have a great day.